bradgump.com doing a video review today on the software side of the Kim Commando dash cam so real quick what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a window shortcut key here by pressing the windows key it looks like the, the windows waving window flag or whatever it is you hit that plus E at the same time and this screen pops up here um, when you hit the Windows logo plus E in an older version this version is Windows 8 um, it'll say my computer um, it's much the same same window it still shows you know my computer desktop documents downloads music for instance my cell phone is connected videos and any and all drives so this drive here is the operating system the OS system and this is the drive that we're actually going to be accessing here right now this is the DR underscore disk also known as the D drive this is the drive that wants you remove your micro SD card from your Kim Commando dash cam and plug it into your adapter it's either it either looks like a USB drive with a small slot on the top like the one I have and I'll show a video or a picture of it here at the bottom of the screen or it's like a full size SD card with a slot in it it's the one that came with your camera you don't have to use that one if you have another means of doing it feel free to do it not a biggie so let's double click on this drive here that's a double left click and here's the software that's on that 32 gig micro SD card it's called commando it's an application and it's approximately 828 kilobytes so a little bit about this software here once I double click it the computer is going to ask me if it's okay that I use it that they have access to my computer all that fun stuff I'm gonna click yes um, but when it does activate it runs directly from the micro SD card the software does not require you to download it to your computer it just activates and runs off of the micro SD card so bear with me here the, the screen may go blank momentarily um, and that's just me check marking the the uh, the yes button okay so here's the window that pops up when you double click that um, really nothing much to it there's two screens here this is the front facing camera in my van or the left side of the camera as you're looking at it um, with the LCD screen pointed towards you this is the right handed screen uh, this one's pointed straight back and this video is from 125 of 2014 so January 25th 2014 about three days before my dad's birthday and the time is uh, 610 in the morning the length of the video is two minutes and three seconds and the estimated size is 119 megabytes now some of these videos let me scroll down here may be massive files like this one here that one three or one nine six three megabytes that's approximately 1.9 gigs it's a large file it's going to take a long time to save if, if you do want to save it so keep that in mind when you're downloading videos so just real quick here I'm going to go through the interface for you there's three buttons up here at the top this button is already selected it shows you the front both cameras in the same view by pressing this button it shows you my front facing camera which at this point in time is black because it's 610 in the morning this camera view right here shows you the back of my van you know through the bulkhead 
Um, I have my dome lights on, so that's why there's a screen. Otherwise, it would be just black as the other one. Um, let's see here. Over here, there's a map. This would be perfect if you had the GPS antenna that comes... Um, that's, I think, should come with the camera, but it didn't. So I'm currently waiting on the makers of the camera, which is Foresight, to contact me via email, letting me know that their um, GPS antennas are in and that I can order one, because I would very much like to see how that works. Um, they do say that it records where you've gone on Google Maps, and it also records your speed. So say like you got pulled over for some various reason, uh, your your dash cam has recorded all of that because you've you're plugged into your GPS antenna. So when I find out where the antenna comes from, I'll be sure to update the video uh, about section and uh, include a link so that you can check it out. All right, moving on now. And this is where you can find the ID of all the videos. The resolution, start time, the length, the estimated size. Um, over here you can find more videos. Um, this window here shows you a limited number of videos. Shows you up to number 22 from this week. Um, you can also find them over here on this side. And I do believe this was the video that I recorded earlier tonight while describing how to take the dash cam off of its mount and what so, such and so forth. Real quick here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button right here. This gives me the large display size. It's It doesn't seem like much, but it really does give you a lot more space. And then another thing what I'm going to do is because I always leave my microphone on recording while I drive um, so more likely when I play a video it's going to be loud so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the volume so that when I do play that video it doesn't blast your speakers so let's scroll down to a video that I recorded today let's click on this one and let's change my view so I'm sitting in the driveway now yeah, let's click a video that's not going to end quite so f so fast. This two-hour video right here. Let's click on this one instead. So I'm going to press play down here. Nothing maybe seen going on, but the the tree is blowing right here with the with the wind. And you can tell that the video is playing because of this blue scroll bar right here. And you can click on that and drag it and pull it forward however you like. Just to wherever you desire it. Down here there's an open folder. I've never had the need to use this. Um, I did click on it earlier at one point in time just playing with the buttons. And I couldn't really get it to quite open anything other than the video files that are already on the micro SD card. This is a snapshot, it'll take a snapshot of the video. Kinda like you see on the news where they take a snapshot of a, a police officer's dash cam. Same concept. Here's the save button. It looks like a floppy disk, which is ironic because you can't really find a floppy disk anymore. So that's kinda weird, but okay. Uh, typically when you want to save a file you check you hit the check mark box like so and then you hit save um, let's do a small one here so that you can see what that looks like hit save I've already created a folder called dash cam and I'm going to hit OK and as you can see by this status bar that it's 53 percent done downloading to my computer and hopefully once that completes, I can show you that video. Or at least where it's being capped. I don't want to click on it because it'll just blast your ears away. 
Here's that video right there. G 2014, 325, 1909, 49. 1901, oh, 1909, 49. So, then on. So that's where I store my videos. This is the delete button. Never really had to use this either because once your micro SD card is full, it'll just automatically start overriding the oldest files. So today's the 25th. When my card is full, granted that the files are not locked, these are locked files, it'll start recording over this one here. And then when when it needs more space it'll record over that one and then that one and then so on and so forth until it's been caught up this is your settings button uh... change your settings your views your uh, user preferences stuff like that right here we have your general playback buttons your rewind or slow motion your stop button your play, your pause button, your fast forward button, just like on your home DVD player. Over here, well, we already know that this is the volume button, um, so I don't want to blast your ears by turning turning that up. Over here, we have the repeat button, just like you find on your MP3 players to repeat a video. Right here, we have a rotation of 180 degrees. If you remember out of the box it comes with a suction cup that you can put to your dash and then you can um, mount it upside down. Well when you mount it upside down it records upside down. So when you save it on your computer this video would be upside down. So that's where the 180 degree rotation button comes in handy. This is the output KLM. Never really had to use that button. Um, I did click on it one time, I just don't remember what it does. This is your map button. This is so that when you are connected to your GPS antenna, it will record where, you're, where you've gone, and this, is, this will show up on the video as to where you've gone. Kind of nifty. I can't wait to get that antenna to try it out. Let's see here, this one's the G sensor. If you remember, the G sensor is what is installed on the camera so like if it's a sudden impact the camera will stop recording um, I wish cell phones had these but they don't um, it would come in quite handy this is your repair video I've never had to use this because nothing's been really corrupted on my computer I don't take this card out daily unless something comes up as you saw in the folder on the dash cam I had car crash that's uh that's the only time I took it out and I saved that video. This is to unlock videos. So let's click up here. And then we'll unlock this video. That video has been unlocked. I do believe that was it. Let that play for you. And then this is your larger screen or your smaller screen. You can click that and it'll, it'll toggle back and forth between the two. So, for some reason, um, when you are driving, this may look like I'm speeding, but I, I, I'm actually doing about 30 miles an hour. I'm not really moving all that fast, really. So, that's one thing to get used to, but the fact that they're both time stamped and date stamped makes it sure easy because when I filmed that car crash I showed the police officers the video and it just made everything a whole lot easier to digest and figure out and all that fun stuff so for the most part that's it when you're done you can exit out of this and then uh, remove it from your computer put the micro SD card back into your Kim Commando dash cam and then uh, install it in your car and everything is honky-dory and you're back to 
recording video. So, again, thank you for watching. This is Brad Gump with bradgump.com. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact me via the reply below, or you can go to my website here at bradgump.com and uh, go to the contact page, and my credentials are there. Um, so thank you for watching. This is Brad with bradgum.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.